The Bucks lead at 17-6. Two minutes to play. The Jets at the six-yard line. It's second and goal, and they have all three of their timeouts remaining. Five wide receivers. And Chester Verde has been completing them with regularity on this drive. Quick drop to the left side. Breaking the tackle of Curtis Martin into the end zone for the touchdown. Now the Jets will go for two points. But Curtis Martin, I don't think a wide receiver could have made this play work. Watch this. The Bucks defense come up. They got two guys. They missed the tackle. Damian Robinson and Derek Brooks both missing. Curtis Martin, hey, he's used to breaking tackles. He goes in and gets the touchdown. Jets looking for two here to close to 17-14 and put them within a field goal. Martin, the only back behind Testaverde. Vinny throws over the middle. He's got him. Laverne is pulled. The rookie out of Florida State makes the reception. It's a three-point game with a minute 54 to play. Second and seven. All stop. Oh, it's hard. And the Jets say there's a loose football and that they have it, and they, they do. do. I was going to say, Greg, Randall McDaniel, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, came in with like their goal line running formation. He was the running back back there. I couldn't see who made the hit that caused the fumble. Look at Mike Allstott. You protecting the football? Marvin Jones, number 59, 55, gets in there and makes the hit. And then Victor Green has the loose football. And Victor Green, he's been around the football all day today. Third turnover of the day for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the Jets now not with a just, just a chance to tie, but with a chance to win this game. If there has been a script for the Jets this year, it's been come from behind. Martin going to throw it to the end zone. Quebec, touchdown! What a call by Dan Henney to put the football in the hands of a running back trying to make a throw to win a football game. How sweet must, must this be for number 80? The object of that man's ire all week long, he refused to fire back and has pulled in what stands now to be the winning score. Well, it was a nice catch as Curtis Martin, being a running back, threw it out there and it, it wobbled quite a bit and Wayne Trebet just adjusted to the ball and made a nice catch. But what a call. This is a most important extra point. It would force the Buccaneers to go for a touchdown rather than a game-tying field goal. John Hall's kick is good. The New York Jets put 15 points on the board in the last 62 seconds and have taken a 21-17 lead. Watch Curtis Martin. They just run the football one time. Oh, and you can see... Brian Kelly, number 25, comes up for the run. And then Damian Robinson, the safety, not able to get back over there and protect him. But what a good call. You just run the football. You pick up six yards. You come back. Oh, and a nice job by Wayne Corbett. Rewarded with the, our forum in the game so far this year from the shotgun. The Jets say they have it. And they do. John Abraham with the hit behind the line of scrimmage. Brian Cox came up with the football. And once again, our final score, the New York Jets, 21, Tampa Bay, 17. Coming up next on CBS, except in the Pacific time zone. Stay tuned for another fascinating 60 minutes. For Phil Sims and Armin Kassayan, Greg Gumbel saying so long from Tampa. You've been watching the NFL on CBS, home of Super Bowl 35.